Dear friends, I am Dr. Seema Dhawan from Department of Education, HNB Garhwal University, Srinagar, Uttarakhand. Here we will discuss on the content planning on sustainable development. What is sustainability? So, for developing the objectives, the objectives developed are the students will be able to describe the concept of sustainable. They will be able to define the sustainable development and describe the elements of sustainable development. They will also be able to classify the areas of sustainable development and explain the connections among the elements, the interaction. And the last objective is that they will able to discuss the sustainable society. So here we can see that all these objectives are interlinked and connected from simple to high order thinking to a larger goal. Now identifying the task, here we can consider what content, what type of content will engage the students on the basis of their interest and their backgrounds and how to sequence the content and scaffold the lesson objectives. Now while deciding the resources or selecting the content, the content will be selected on the basis of the goals that is the concept of the sustainable, the definition of the sustainable development, the areas of sustainable development and their relationship that is environment, economy and equity and the further elements in these areas and their relationship and then what is a sustainable society, how we can say that this society is sustainable and also to decide to use a tool of well-being for sustainable society. Now creating a timeline for all these concepts and areas and principles then deciding the assessment technique which can be used for this content. For assessment method, objective type questions will be used. The types of objective type meaning multiple choice, match, matching questions, fill in the blanks, recalling questions, then short answer type questions that is students can answer in limited words. It also includes long answer type questions where the thinking process and the reflection of students can be assessed, their concept formation can be assessed. There will also be group work and teamwork and project work. All these are the assessment techniques for this content. For managing the integration, there will be integration of the knowledge of concept and their relationship, the areas and their relationship. There will be integration of theory and practical experiences individual and group work, knowledge and skill and of course there will be integration of use of technology in this content. Then the next step is writing the content and finalizing the plan. While writing the content, the planner can elaborate the concept of sustainable concept of environment, the biotic and abiotic components of the environment, the cultural environment, the social environment and their relationship and also the human variation, the human interaction in all this biological, physical and social environment. They can also explain the relationship between man and environment, how the actions of man influence the environment and 
in turn influence the society, the component of physical man is also a biological community, then it can be discussed why the issue of sustainability, what are the problems. So there are so many problems, depletion of the finite resources, overuse of renewable resources, forest, wildlife, also discussing about the pollution, air pollution, water pollution, noise pollution, soil pollution, then inequity with, which exists in the so, our society, economic, political, social, gender differences, species loss, endangered species and the most important is the existence of the human being. So, for all these reasons, sustainability is very important, knowing about sustainability is very important. Now, what is sustainability? It is the ability to sustain. To sustain what? A system or yourself, a human being or the society? What is the larger goal and how these goals are connected? Coming to the word of sustainable, it can be defined that in the human scale of time is able to endure, thrive and regenerate without overburdening the living system of the earth is the sustainable. On the basis of this sustainable, sustainable development can be defined and the definition of the Birdland report can be provided to the students, can be discussed. The sustainable development triangle can be discussed. The 3E module, ecology, economy and equity, the 3E areas of sustainable development can be given can be provided to the students. What elements are included in the environment area? Uh, it may be biodiversity, the materials, the flow of energy, the energy and the biophysical interaction, the relationship between all these things, the importance of all these things, it can be included. Then for the economy, the teacher can discuss the money and the capital about the employment issues, also the technological growth, the investment and the market forces. For the area of society, the teacher can discuss the human diversity, that is cultural diversity, linguistic diversity, the ethnic group and the issue of equity, the dependence and independence, institutional structure and organization about the political structure and the most important about the quality of life. So these are the areas of sustainable development. Coming further, is sustainable our actual society? Raising the question of sustainable society. Questioning about what will be the future of our children? what we are going to give to our future generation. Again, coming to the next point, the guiding principles of the sustainable development, that is living an environment, living within the environment, living for the environment, living within environmental limits and ensuring a strong, healthy and just society. Also achieving a sustainable economy, promoting good governance and using sound science responsibly that we have the responsibility towards the society. It can also include the traditional system of thinking of economy, environment and society in a fragmented manner, in a separated manner to a ecosystem based decision making system where all these three circles, three components of the sustainable development that is society, economy and environment, all the three are now interlinked, they are participatory in nature and they are 
integrate it. So on the basis of all these, sustainable society can be defined as it is the one that can persist over generations, one that is far seeing enough, flexible enough and wise enough not to undermine either its physical or social system of support. Similarly, about the human health and the well-being of the society. Without being healthy, a society can't persist, can't sustain. So, the human health or well-being, considering this, a sustainable society is characterized by people coexisting harmoniously within local, national and global communities and with nature is one that is physically, psychologically, spiritually and socially healthy. And then after discussing the sustainable society, the characteristics of sustainable society, the importance of sustainable society, a team, a project work can be given that conduct a survey on sustainable society using well-being tool. So it is a project work and a well-being tool will be provided to the students or they can be, the questions can be raised for including the statements related to well-being and a tool can be developed with the help of the students about the well-being and that tool is, will be used to conduct a survey to see how sustainable is the society. So for this project work the student will inspire, they explore, they will go to the real community and find they will gain experiences. In science process is more important than product. So during the process they will learn about the sustainable society, sustainable development concept. So in this way a content can be planned in different areas. Hope you will plan efficiently in future. All the best. Thank you.